Hey everyone, I'm Darren. I'm Heyman. This is the Music News Official. And this is our third, third podcast. So, since our last podcast, nothing really changed pandemic wise. We're still in quarantine. Uh, schools are mainly online, especially for college and stuff. Both of us had to experience that right now. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of a struggle. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I mean, right now we're getting used to it. I mean, it's been on going on for like half a year or so. Yeah, most of the year actually. Yeah, it's a it's a learning process for everyone, students and teachers. Because mm -hmm. you know, students now have to you know you're in the comfort of your house, but you still have to sit there and pay attention, mm -hmm. uh, make sure that you are keeping up. You know, the teacher isn't there all the time, or you're not maybe seeing the teacher as often in mm -hmm. person to really get that message of, hey, you have assignments due. Yeah, sometimes you're not motivated to do it just because you're at home all the time. Yeah, the motivation is pretty class, low. Especially. Motivation is pretty low. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the technical issues as well when it comes to the classes and some teachers, technical issues are just... Yeah, a lot of people, you know, they just not weren't prepared, right? They weren't prepared for having to take mm -hmm. the the Wi-Fi load of streaming every single day, you know, and I yeah. mean, it, it, you know, it's no one's fault, really. It's just this all kind of happened by, by, you know, surprise. So yeah, it, it's just a learning process. Um, everybody just has to be patient with it. Mm -hmm. um, we do still urge everyone to stay safe, right? Mm -hmm. Stay safe, wear your mask. Yeah. Um, Keep distance. Yeah. Try to avoid going out in public too much if you if you can. Right. Mm -hmm. um, because the numbers, they're looking, you know, they're a little bit on and off. Right. And of course, we are working um, plenty of countries are working on cures things like that but it's still gonna be a process so yeah. you know don't take it for granted just stay safe do what you have to do so the main topic of the day is how we learn songs and how we go about covering the songs that we have on our channel yeah and we're not gonna in this video we're not gonna show you how we do the sound production but we're gonna show you physically how we learn the song from you know YouTube or Spotify or whatever and translate that to an instrument yeah, it's more like a mental to physical approach of each song that we do. Yeah. So the first step of learning a song in general is listening to the song multiple times. Yeah, and music in general, just listening is a very key thing, mm -hmm. right? Um, listening and you get so many ideas, you know, especially because you're listening to something, most likely it's a master that you're listening to, right? And you can probably maybe learn a, a few things or maybe a different approach, something different that you didn't try before if you're already mm -hmm. experienced. And now we're gonna walk you through our approach step by step. So the first thing, like you just said, is listening. So we have a little song here. We're gonna listen to just a little, a really small portion of it and try to figure it out together. So that's a song that we all know really well. Um, and even we covered it on our channel before. Yeah. So the next thing to do is listen again, but now analytically, right? and really thinking about what's going on, right? Really listening to each of the parts, right? And of course, if you're doing this in, on an instrument, it's much easier because you don't have to worry about lyrics. Exactly. Yeah, so the melodies, most likely, things like that, it'll kind of repeat in a way, right? So listen again and you know, think about those things as you listen to it. So after you listen to it a few times, you'll notice a lot of ongoing patterns that the song has and with K-pop groups in general, de depending, there's usually, it starts off with a good melody, it's going on, and then in between we'll have rap sections and different bridges and stuff that you have to focus on and understand where everything's laid out for you. So understanding the layout of the song is the key thing because if you know the layout, then you know exactly what to play next. Yeah, and it also kind of cuts your workload in half because mm -hmm. you may look at a whole song and think, oh my gosh, that's a whole song I have to learn. Yeah. But really, okay, if you learn the melody first, that's probably 50% of the song done, Yeah. right? They probably do the melody at least two or three times in one song. Yeah. So that's a lot of the song done, right? Yeah, and then the way also I do it, or I approach it on piano is I take this sections of each song or of one song and learn the one section a couple times and go over and over again until I get that section down and then move on to the next to the next. Yeah, so working yeah. in smaller chunks definitely help this whole process. Mm -hmm. Now the next thing is after you figured out the outline, the general outline, now it's time to actually go to your instrument and try to figure out a few things. So before you get to just 
getting into the song itself, mm -hmm. you still need a few background pieces of information, right, with regards uh, to your instrument itself. The mm -hmm. first major thing being the scale, okay? And I know it's a really boring topic learning scales yeah. on an instrument, but that's just one of the first steps you have to take. Mm -hmm. You have to learn the layout of your instrument, right, where mm -hmm. notes are, things like that. Mm -hmm. So with scale, uh, you don't need too much theory in a way um, of knowing scales and stuff like that. And even there's um, little methods to figure out scales from any note once you understand the general method. So you don't have to memorize a lot of the scales like right away. But that is definitely a first thing is figuring out just general scales. So knowing all the scales on your instrument, right? And Darren will demonstrate a few just basic scales on your instrument. Mm -hmm. you know all over the piano or whatever instrument you're playing in different scales this is just an example of two key notes C and D and their major and minor right mm -hmm. so things like that you have to understand on your instrument before you can really hope to succeed in this very well mm -hmm. all right once you understand the scale of the song the melody comes a lot easier because the melody is all in the scale itself and it's not just the scale but it's all the notes jumping back and forth and creating a good sound and you're kind of just listening to the song to find a good pattern. Yeah. So just as a demonstration we're going to go from, Darren's going to show you going from the general D minor scale into bass low. Mm -hmm. So once you get the melody down, this is dependent on your instrument, but the next step is finding the chord progressions. And a lot of that, what I do is I listen to the song again, but instead of listening to the melody, I'm taking like the bass lines mainly of the song because the bass line usually has like the good chord progressions to accompany the melody in the singer. So once you, I, once it comes down to listening again and finding out the correct note you're playing and stuff, and you can even play on piano and like test out the song or yeah, test out what notes you're playing for the song. And usually in, in pop songs, the chord progression is usually like a set pattern of like three different chords or four different chords mm -hmm. that you're playing. And it's easier and like it might be hard to process that but whenever you find out the scale then like half those notes are eliminated and you know exactly which notes are supposed to belong in the song yeah and don't even let those terms like um you know scare you away like chord progression and stuff like that you know i'm sure a lot of you hear that for the first time and you get like yeah. scared. again it's just the um thinking of it in this way like you said the bass line so if you just listen to a song but now you're listening to not the main singer but you're listening to just the bass or the background instrument and you'll notice that it repeats the same pattern most of the time throughout the entire song. Just mm -hmm. the same pattern. So you can just go off of those bass notes and then figure out the chord from there. Mm -hmm. Whatever fits in the scale and sounds good. Once you've figured out all those basic things and maybe you've gotten like little pieces here and there of you know the sections of the song and stuff now it's time to you know apply those patterns apply everything together so like Darren mentioned earlier maybe taking just one portion of the song just the melody line or just the verse maybe even your favorite part of the song right learn just that one part by itself and work on it work on it work on it until you get it to a point that you like it from there once you start once you have that really good and you start branching out, it'll be much easier that way. Because the song generally, especially with pop in general, not just K-pop, but pop in general, they keep it very simple, right? They don't do it too complex. So you want to figure out one section, you're most likely going to figure out the other sections relatively soon or faster.
once you figure out those basic things and you've got the main part of the song, right, the whole song and the main parts, after that you can take the extra step, right, um, of understanding harmonies, things like that, especially for vocalists. Um, if you want to do covers yourself and stuff like that and you have production software, things like that, you can always do multiple recordings of yourself and one part singing the main melody and the other part doing the harmony. Now the harmony is a little bit tricky, right? It's basically what we just talked about, but now you're taking it to the next level because you're not copying exactly what the artist is doing or what the main part is. Instead, now you're really listening intensely, trying to figure out what meshes really well together with that main melody part and even like accents it, but it doesn't distract from what's actually going on mm -hmm. in the song. And that's pretty much how harmonies work in general. But again, this is just a skill that kind of develops over time, right? Um, for me personally, a lot of the harmonies that we do and stuff like that, at first I felt like I couldn't even hear harmonies. Now, after having to learn multiple harmonies over and over and over again, you start getting a general idea of, or a, like a better listening pattern to tune out the main singer and listen to those background vocals, things like that. And that, like I said, too, that's just an extra thing. If you just want to learn song after song, then these basic things that we talked about to get the song out in the first place, easy enough. All right, before we conclude everything, we just wanted to thank our, our subscribers, and we always read your comments and your suggestions for the next videos and stuff, and we really appreciate that. Yeah, we really appreciate, too, that we're trying to get a few more comments. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think last time we did our podcast, we probably maybe had one or two people in general making comments and stuff like that it's just like a good job or something but now we're getting a few more you know yeah. and um more intricate comments and stuff like that we really do appreciate and feel free to always comment and give us suggestions for songs that you want to hear mm -hmm. things like that and even if uh you uh tips for us to improve right like we said we're learning these things all of, all on our own we're really trying to figure out these things for ourselves mm -hmm. and if you have any tips anything like that go ahead and let us know as well too we appreciate all of it. Mm -hmm. And of course, too, uh, last time we did this, I can't remember what the sub count was, but now we're in the 80s, mm -hmm. so we're actually close to 100. So that, you know, meets or exceeds our expectations at all. Like we, yeah. we actually came into this going with no expectations. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's anything is better at this point. And we just want to thank, uh, say thank you to all of you um, that watch our content and enjoy it and stuff. Alright, that concludes everything for this podcast. I'm Darren. I'm Heyman. You're the music is official. And remember to always love, love yourself. yourself.